Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever! Ladies and gentlemen, today is gonna be a part 8 of our Transport Fever Let's Play. I may have forgotten the number, but that's completely fine. Let's not, uh, let's not dwell on that. But yes, today is gonna be part 8 of our Transport Fever Let's Play. It is currently January 30th, 1984. And things are going pretty well for Conflict Transport Limited. Things are going pretty well indeed. We are making all sorts of money, although we are making money a bit slower than we were making it at one point. Because we have more trains, we have more vehicles, things have just slowed down a little bit. But that's okay. That's, that's no big deal. I would like to begin today by making basically a, a ring road around Colchester. A road that can sort of get you... You know, say you wanted to go from Bingham to Altrincham via car. You currently have to go through Colchester. I want to make it so you don't have to do that. And I feel like that might be a good idea. So we're going to get an extra large country road. And basically, we are going to go straight off like this. Just sort of up to there. And uh, then we're going to sort of go and curve this way. And, uh, I think we will go over the train track. Just like so. And we're gonna connect to about there. And then we can go ahead and upgrade that little stretch of road. I think. Too much slope. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, upgrade to a large country road. There we go. Alright, so a nice large country road there. And uh, that way, you can get to Altrincham without having to go through Colchester, which I think is quite important. Uh, it would also be nice to do a similar thing to get to Partington and Buntingford. Although I'm not entirely convinced they'd use... Oh, wow, that frame rate. I'm not entirely convinced they would use this road to do that, but I'm going to try because I'm curious. So, once again, extra large country road. We're going to sort of go just off of here. Uh, let's see if I can get that to go at a nice angle, though. Sort of like that, I think. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so we're gonna go that way. And we're gonna go this way. And, uh, it is gonna cut across this road here, which is fine. No big deal there. Just sort of cut down to there. And then continue towards the, uh, continue straight towards the coast, I guess. So like that, and then done like this. Uh, it is going to have to cut across a train track, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, no big deal. I'll make it work. It's got a big, we've got a big bridge to build here, don't we? Yeah, this is the start of the lake. But if I could connect it directly to there, that'd be pretty good. Let's see, if I just go like, th oh wow, that is not what I want. If I go from there, straight across to there, is that possible? Collision. What are we colliding with? What if I, if I raise it up? Oh, now there's a collision there. Okay, let's get rid of the train track for a second. We'll build that back in a second. I'll just pause the game while I do so, so that uh, the trains don't go a bit crazy. Uh, so that's currently colliding, but I could raise it up. And that's a bloody massive bridge. It really is. 26.7 million for a bridge that's, that's potentially not going to do anything. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna build it. Because if it works, then that's gonna be so useful. If it doesn't, then it's a complete waste of money, but we're gonna work under the assumption that it is going to work. And we're gonna hope for the best. So let's try and bring this train track around there. And, uh... Is that connected? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't think that's connected properly at all. Um... So that'll work. Alright, bit of a steep turn there, but we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, also going to have to change the signals a little bit. Which I can totally do. Uh, so that curves into there. Then we need the signal, which goes just there. And that is one way. Alright. So, we'll see if that does anything. I imagine it will, like, there's trucks using it already. I mean, that is going to be a way to get into Colchester via this little road. 
but that is just a way around Colchester, basically. That's a way that's hopefully gonna, gonna let traffic just sort of flow around without having to go through, which is probably kind of important, so... We'll see what happens. We'll absolutely see what happens. I have vehicles using it, which is good. Hopefully more people are gonna be inclined to use it. I'm definitely seeing more people being inclined to use it, so hopefully... Hopefully we're gonna see some good stuff come from that road. But what I'd also like to do is start production on plastics and oil and fuel. So, we are going to go and we are going to build a truck station just about... We're going to go for a big... No, we'll go for a regular truck station just about there. And we're going to need another one, a big one just over by Colchester Oil Refinery. So that's going to go there. And then we're going to need a big one up by this plastics mill or factory or whatever it's called. So it's going to go right about there. And then we're also going to need I'm going to I'm going to put one here as well, a small one, so that we can get the oil from this particular location. So let's just throw that in there. And that's going to come over here as well. Uh, so the oil needs to go from here to there. Then the oil goes from there to there. And from there to there to there. That's fine. What I'd also like to do is run a line of trucks from this farm to bring grain to this factory. So that we can make some plastics out of grain as well. So it's a bit of a better production. Uh, we should look into doing some stuff with uh, this quarry as well at some point, but we'll get to that. But let's go ahead and set up the lines. So this one is going to be from, what is that, Buntingford Transfer to Colchester Sidings. So that is going to be good old Bunt, I guess Bunt Oil, no, Bunt Crude, we'll go Crude because it is Crude Oil. Crude oil to refinery. Alrighty. So that's one line. Then we want to go from the refinery to there, which is going to be oil to plastics. So that's Colchester oil to plastics. I said plastics, not anything else there, by the way. Uh, we're gonna want some, what is this, Warminster Crude to Refinery as well. So let's get you renamed to War Crude to Refinery. Alrighty, so that's two sets of crude oil going to the refinery. We do also need fuel to go out, so this is gonna be Colchester Fuel to Town basically. So Colchester fuel to the town itself, which is going to be Colchester fuel to town. Alrighty, so that's a couple of lines in that regard. Uh, we have that one going from... Do we have this one yet? Yeah, we do. So that one goes from there to there, that goes there to over there. We also need to set up one from here. Oh, no, 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 no. Remove. Then new line. And, uh, Bingham Grain to Plastics. So get you renamed to Bingham, uh, Bingham Grain to Plastics. Oh, so much, so many lines going on. It's so good. All right. So the plastics then go from there to the machinery mill. All right. So, that's going to be Bingham Plastics to Colchester Mill, I guess. Going to be a very busy thing there, but that's alright. Uh, so, Bingham Plastics to Coal Mill. Okay. So, now that that's done, we need to get the trucks for all of the lines. 
Oh, that's going to take a while. Okay. Uh, we need to be very careful with the trucks as well to make sure that they're all actually set to carry the thing I want them to carry rather than doing anything else. Okie dokie. So all of the trucks are set up to carry everything I want them to carry. They are all set to their lines. It cost me a bit of money to get them, of course, but uh, that's completely fine. We have all of the trucks just going ahead and heading out and we have a bendy bus. Oh, we got a bendy bus. I'm kind of okay with that. That's kind of, uh, that's, that's gonna be interesting to have some bendy buses going around all of my lines. But hopefully we're gonna see some good stuff happening here. Hopefully we're gonna see some, uh, some real good stuff going on. We should see some oil getting produced over here already. Uh, we should see the same done here as well, and we absolutely do. Uh, we won't really see anything happening here for a while, obviously, because there's nothing there. We will hopefully see some good grain getting produced done this way. And uh, hopefully we're going to see some plastics getting produced at some point as well. Obviously nothing's going to be happening just yet. So, I have a lot of vehicles reaching their uh, lifetime. Of course, they are the old Mercedes-Benz buses. So what I think I'm going to do is any line that still has those buses, I'm going to replace the buses with um, the Bendy bus, I guess. Might as well. It can carry 25 passengers, which is actually a lot more than the other one. So I think I'm going to replace all of my buses with the Bendy bus. So uh, let's go for like blue, nice strong blue color and uh, automatically replace, please. That's 25% uh, of your life. There you go. Uh, Bingham Central to train is probably fine. So they've all automatically replaced. So don't automatically replace anymore. Uh, you guys can do the same. But uh, not just yet. Set the vehicle to uh, be the new one. Nice and strong blue. And automatically replace. So hopefully we're going to see that happening nice and soon. Uh, you are going to be the same. Automatically replace. Uh, honestly, I'm real tempted to just buy these and set all the other buses to come back. But I think I'll just keep the automatic replacement, so once these guys get a bit older, they're gonna just start... Yeah, they're already getting replaced, so that's fine. So they're being replaced, they're being replaced, you are gonna need to be replaced as well. So set the vehicle to the good old blue bandy bus. It's gonna get a lot more people moving about, though, that's gonna be really good. Alright, so you are all set to replace. You need to be the same, so you are going to replace with the blue bendy bus as well. Alrighty, so okay, and yes. And this one can do the same. I'm kind of glad that these all have the thing set to replace already. It's kind of annoying in a sense, because that explains where a lot of my money's going. It's obviously going on buses that don't need to be replaced, so I'm going to need to remember to turn that off at some point. Partington Loop is losing me a lot of money. It really is. It's losing me so much money. Uh, set the vehicle to be the blue bendy bus as well. Just like so. Except maybe we'll send one of those vehicles back. Because the Partington Loop is just losing a lot of money. Alrighty. Any more buses? We have this one down here. I don't think I need to worry about. Uh, yeah, I don't think the single lines really, the single bus lines really need replaced currently. I am losing just a lot of money across the board. I'm making a lot on the Catlin Grain line. I'm making a lot, obviously, from the buses. The, interestingly, the Colchester Loop has recently stopped making money. The country county train line has uh, sort of not been making money ever. This is making a bit of money, which is good to see. Yeah, money, money is interesting. Uh, let me go to this train depot for a second and just sell that train. There we go. That'll get me 6.69 million, which certainly isn't bad. Certainly, certainly is not bad at all. Let's just replace a bunch of those. And let's go in and have a look at the bandy buses. What do they look like? So those are the blue ones. There's a bandy bus. What does it look like? Uh, it looks pretty good, actually. Hopefully going to see a bunch of people using those. That's certainly the dream, anyway. Not all of the buses have been replaced yet, but that's that's not going to happen anyway. They're not all going to be immediately replaced, so that's kind of to be expected. 
Uh, looking around in general, I mean, we are still making money, that's for sure. We're just not making it as quickly as I'd like. I'm also noticing this ring road is not as successful as I'd necessarily, uh, like it to be. But traffic does seem to be biked up, but less biked up over here. So that's kind of nice. That's, that's certainly kind of nice. Uh, maybe connecting this road would be an idea. Maybe going ahead and saying, here's a medium straight to get in to Colchester. Uh, why is that not possible? Why is that not possible? That seems very strange to me. Go that way and go that way. So that's possible. All right. Then connect over to there. So that's basically going to be a way to get into Colchester from the ring road. Which is hopefully going to get some use. It is immediately getting some use. So that's good to see. Hopefully that's going to sort of persuade people to use this road a little bit more since they can sort of, you know, use the ring road. And uh, hopefully we're going to see a lot of these buses get replaced fairly soon. Now looking over this way, are we? We are producing plastics. There we go. Now that's good to see. Are we producing fuel? I have no idea. No idea if we're producing fuel. Looking at Colchester, we don't currently have any, so... It's, uh, it's difficult to know if we're producing fuel currently. Doesn't really look like it. Doesn't really look like it at all, actually. I wonder if it's not, like, is it not producing fuel because there's somewhere that fuel has to specifically go? I don't think there is, or am I being completely mistaken here? Um, hold on a minute. Don't you produce, you produce slag from steel plants? Yeah. So that can produce some slag, which, ooh, even more new train, double deck cars as well. So if I set up a line from there to there, we could start making construction materials. Oh, that's real tempting, actually. That is real tempting to start making some construction materials and bringing those to Colchester as well. Uh, as for this line, it's just doing amazingly well. I really am so impressed with how well this line's actually doing. 1.64 million, don't mind if I do. Uh, we did go ahead and replace that other train, didn't we? I'm all, I'm fairly certain that we did. Now, that's the passenger train. Where's the other cargo train? Is... Where is the other cargo train? Did I not replace... Did I... I replaced it, right? Am I imagining things here? Am I going crazy? Have I gone crazy already? Or is the, uh, is the other cargo train nowhere to be seen? I'm really confused right now. Uh, where is the second cargo train? There is still there. Yeah, there it is. Where are you currently? Right there. How did I not see you? I'm really confused by this. Like, I'm really confused by this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. So he's moving that way. Uh, you're moving that way. It might be worth replacing this train at the front here. I know it's not as old as the other one was, but, uh... It might still be worth replacing it and getting one of the newer ones. So much food over here, my god. It's ridiculous. It really is. Uh, let's send you back to the depot, please. So you're going to head back that way. Obviously, you can head that way to get to the depot, but I'm going to tell you to turn around in just a second once you get to there. Uh, so go backwards. No path. Okay, go that way then. And go backwards. So yeah, head to that depot. We're gonna replace the uh We're gonna replace the front of that train. We could go with something electric. We could absolutely go with something electric there. But I wanna have a little look at this train, because I wanna see something. So if we buy some trains and we look at wagons specifically, the steak car can't really carry what I want. This one can do livestock though. Is that an open wagon we have there already? I don't really know. What are we What are we using on this thing? From 1978. I don't think that is. 
if I... That can carry grain as well. I think that is a bigger wagon than that one. So let's sell those. And let's sell the cattle ones as well. Let's just upgrade this thing quite a bit. So, open wagon. Uh, carrying grain. So, just carry grain. And we'll make this one sort of that green color. And give me... Give me a lot of them, I think. They're very expensive, though. But give me, like, one, two, three, four, five of them. Then this one can do livestock and goods. So really, I could probably... Oh, it can, it can also do... It can do food as well. Livestock and food is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm going to leave it on automatic, because hopefully it's going to be able to carry more food. Uh, so let's do one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to hope that that works. Yeah, here's hoping that works. As for the train itself, going to sell it. And we're going to look at locomotives. So we could go electric. We absolutely could. Uh, this one's very fast, but 16 million to run. But I am tempted. I think I might do it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a chance. 2.67 million a year to run, though, versus 1 million. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go for that one. We're going to go for the 1 million. All right. I guess we're going to see if this works. Let's put you back on the cattle and grain line. So you're moving out. Look at you. Oh, look at you. It's a bloody big train. That's a bloody big train is what that is. But I'm quite okay with it. How much can that carry then? So that can carry... Up to 60, I can carry 65 grain and up to 65 livestock, but it can also carry food. You know, it's possible that we might only need this train. We might be able to retire the other one because this one is hopefully going to be much more efficient. That's the dream anyway. And I also reckon I might want to go ahead and uh, increase the length of this, this uh, station at some point. You know, this thing's not actually going all that fast. I mean, it's going fast. It's just not going as fast as I'd like it to. I take that back. It's it's doing fine. It's uh, it's definitely doing fine. So he's going to pull in there, slow down a little bit to get around there. That's fine. I want to see it. I want to see it fill up. So what, 65 grain and there is 126 right there. That's got to be a lot of money. That has got to be a lot of money. And there is room for livestock as well. Not much, but a little bit of livestock. So can you absolutely fill up? You can. Oh, that's got to be so much money. That's got to be. Okay, where's the other one? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the other one into storage for now. We just got a new vehicle. Oh, look at that. The Mer I had 40 tons truck. That's a proper modern truck. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's a proper modern truck. It's 1990. Oh, my God. I'm so excited right now. I shouldn't be. It's silly, but I'm so excited. We got a 40 tons truck. That's pretty cool. Also, I just noticed there's a goods factory here over by Partington. We should probably use that at some point. That might help Partington. But we'll see. I just, I really want to see how much money this is going to make. I'm absolutely in love with this, like, giant train. And it could be bigger as well. That's what's ridiculous about it. It could be a bigger train. So it's going to pull in. It's going to make, what, 3.38 million. And then it's going to fill with food. So that thing is just suddenly got very profitable. Very, very profitable. Where is that line? Uh, 2.79 million with 10 minutes as the thing. Uh, okay. So let's, I guess, sell this train. Yeah, 4.47 million. We'll see what happens. I don't know if we necessarily... Well, you know what? Now that we have that train gone, we could get the electric one. 
We could get the electric one because that would, um, that would put us in a spot where, oh, that's tempting. That would put us in a spot where the electric train is obviously more expensive to run than this one, but we aren't running two trains anymore, and the electric train is also faster. But I wonder if it can pull as much of a load as that one. That's the question, I suppose. That is, uh, that is a pretty important question, too. So, I don't know. Maybe the, ele maybe the uh, electric train's not the best bet. We can look into it, though. We can absolutely look into it. Uh, now, this is producing so much oil right now. Kind of makes me think that we might want to get more trucks in the oil line. Uh, we're not currently producing any fuel, though. Oh, no, we are. We absolutely are. Okay, fair enough. I guess we should... Uh, you know what we can do? Sell you for a start. But if we look into road vehicles, we have the 40-ton truck. Which can carry a lot of stuff. So, let's carry... Let's, let's switch out... The, uh, the crude oil lines for the 40-ton trucks. I think that might be an idea. So, Buntingford crude oil to refinery is... So, we're going to set this to automatically be crude oil. And the color was sort of a, a dark brown color. So, one, two, three, four, five. They're very expensive. <laughs> uh, but set that to Buntingford crude oil to refinery. And then we'll sell the other trucks in a little bit once they are, uh, once the new trucks are sort of actually working. And then there was also Warminster crude oil to refinery as well. So five of those. And put them on the Warminster crude oil to refinery. Then we have, uh... Things like the machinery and tools, goods to Colchester... Coal to the mill. The coal to mill lines should probably be upgraded. Because there, there is a lot of coal being produced. So set you to coal. And let's do... I think I've got ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. And set those on the Colchester coal to mill. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. And set that on Colchester coal number two to the mill. Alright, so that'll do for now. That'll be the initial upgrade of new trucks. Because I don't want to put too many of them out there. I do need to get rid of the old trucks as well. So it's going to take a little while, but look at those. Oh, look at Colchester, though. It's beautiful. It's such a cool city. Oh, almost 2,000 people. I'm so pleased. Uh, I did put some on the... No, I did the crude oil line. We need to get the oil line and the, maybe the fuel one as well. So, what color are the trucks on the oil line is the question. <laughs> what are you doing? You're the fuel. That's a fuel truck. That's Colchester fuel. That is oil. No, that's crude oil. What color are the, are the, uh, the oil trucks then? Oh, there's so <laughs> many trucks going over here. Uh, I think the oil ones are bright red then, aren't they? Big and platinum. No, that's plastics. Are the oil ones just... Oil to plant, yeah, so they're just like, the, the black is the color of those trucks. Okay. So, uh, let's get five new trucks in the oil one, oil to plastics. So, just make it a black truck. Let's go oil, one, two, three, four, five. And Colchester oil to plastics. And I kind of want to go ahead and do like, a few new trucks to bring plastics back. So, one, two, three of them. And set them to Bingham, it's Bingham Plastics to Colchester Mill. There we go. Alright, so that's going to be expensive, but we have the trucks moving out. It looks so cool. There's so many vehicles trying to get in here, though. I really wish they would, um, I really wish they would use alternate methods to get into Colchester. That really would be nice. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just start kind of extending some roads around here. Sort of like this. Uh, basically, this is turning into, this is just turned into city skylines. Uh, no, uh, basically, I think extending these roads might be incentive for traffic to sort of, well, use them. 
that's the hope anyway. Uh, we might also see buildings expand onto these roads at some point. I mean, there's a truck using it already, so that's progress. Uh, bring this over here. What have we just unlocked? The Airbus A320. Oh, we haven't used Concorde yet, have we? We totally need to do that. We need to. We need to see it. That said, it's kind of silly because there's no real room for Concorde to be at all effective. So I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I want to use Concorde, don't get me wrong. It's just there really isn't the room. That's the thing. There really isn't the room for Concorde to ever be effective on this map. But, I mean, that's probably not going to stop me. Probably not. We'll see. Uh, having those roads there certainly seems to be letting my trucks use them, which is good to see. Uh, a lot of people waiting there for the Colchester to Bingham line. A lot of people waiting over here as well. Actually, no, there's not. A lot of people on the buses, though. Which is great news. A lot of bendy buses moving through as well. Not, we're not completely full up of bendy buses yet. A lot of buses still need to upgrade. What line are you on? Colchester to Warminster. That line is set to automatically replace, right? Yeah, so those buses just aren't at, uh, hold on a minute, actually. Colchester to Warminster, replacement at 25%, please. So that'll start, those will start getting replaced eventually. That red line is Colchester to Buntingford. Interesting. That is also set to replace. Very interesting. With some nice blue buses. Okay. So hopefully that'll get replaced at some point as well. Uh, looking at traffic, I mean, it's still really busy, but... Honestly, I'm just so pleased with how this is going. I really, really am. Uh, where is my cargo train currently? What kind of money do you make when you get to here? You pull in and you get me 3.73 million. Oh my god. Uh, and then you pretty much fill up. Which is beautiful to see. Okay. Uh, looking at that line then, how much money does that make me? Where is that train line? There it is. 4.784 4 million. So that thing is making ridiculous amounts of money. That one train is making ridiculous amounts of money. That's fine by me. That is so okay by me. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I was going to get rid of the original trucks, I think. Uh, but I think I might just replace them. Might be an idea. So set these lines up for vehicle replacement. Uh, 25% set the vehicle to be... So what is this? It's the crude oil to the refinery. So it's going to be that. And it's going to be that color. And it's going to be set for crude oil only. And then hit OK. And yes. So they should start getting replaced eventually. Uh, Buntingford Steel to the machinery plant is going to be a similar situation with the new truck as well. We'll go for just white on those, and we'll say steel, like so. So those are going to slowly get replaced as well. Oh, we need to go through We need to go through a lot of trucks here. Bingham grain to plastics, for example, also needs to be done. This is going to take a little while. Okay, that took a while, but all of my vehicles, all of my trucks, are currently set to replace at some point or other. I'm going to have to go through eventually and turn all of those off and sell, uh, tell them to uh, not constantly replace. But as you can see, a whole bunch of trucks pulling in here. Lots of uh, different colors as well, but uh, that's all right by me. Uh, those trucks there, the light green and light blue ones. Light green is the north farm, light blue is the south farm. And uh, actually, that farm has upgraded at some point recently, hasn't it? I'm almost certain that fa that farm is different to that one. Yeah, yeah it is. That farm's doing well for itself. Having a look at the factory over here. Everything seems to be going pretty well. Which is beautiful to see. Uh, it is interesting that I have these vehicles driving around the way I do. It would make more sense to connect a road from like there up there. But I think I'll just leave them sort of going over the mountain road and down this way. I think that's completely fine. Looking into Colchester, there's so many people waiting in here. Where are you all going? 98 people wanting to go to Buntingford. 100 people want to go to Bunting. What is up with Buntingford? Why don't you take a train? 
why is- oh, what the hell? Why is traffic so slow going through Bunsingford? I- th I feel like we need a ring road here. I feel like a road going around Buntingford might have to happen here. Oh my god. Yeah, Buntingford is just, uh... Is gonna need some kind of ring road, so let's go for, like, uh... Large country road. And let's sort of just go like this. And, uh, see if I can just sort of swing it out and around Buntingford. I could connect it to the ends of all these roads, but I won't do that just yet. It might- I might let it sort of expand and connect itself. But yeah, this- this- whether- you know, this road might not work, but... I'm kinda hoping it does. So there we go, there's a ring road. I honestly don't know if they'll use it. But here's hoping. I mean, someone's keen, someone's away using it, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure if anyone else is going to use it. Kind of makes sense for my trucks to go straight through, and that is kind of the shortest, the shortest route there, so. Yeah, my trucks don't look like they're interested. Maybe that central road just needs upgrade, because it is just a two-lane road right now, so going for like a, a large street might be a, a better idea. Although a large street means getting rid of a lot of buildings. Which I don't necessarily think I want to do. Oh, no, it doesn't. So I can just upgrade the whole way along here. And turn the whole thing into a nice large straight. And, uh, hopefully that's gonna work. I guess I can dream. A lot of vehicles heading that way as well. Yeah, I guess Buntingford just got really, really busy all of a sudden. It would be nice if I could set it up to, uh say, hey, maybe go this way, but I guess not. But that's fine. I mean, some people might use it eventually. Some might not. Uh, what is this road currently? This road looks like it could be upgraded as well. I feel like that road could probably become a large country road, like an extra large one, though. So just the whole way along there. And uh, there as well. So hopefully that'll work. That road just got a lot busier all of a sudden. Uh, we could probably do with upgrading this one as well. Well, it doesn't really need it. I think this is pretty much like the second busiest road that we have, to be honest. So uh, hopefully the upgraded road is going to help. Hopefully some people using the ring road might help a little bit. I don't know. Um, looking at it, though, I've realized it could be an idea to put a small country road going from there. Hold on, if I can get it to, uh, come off of that road properly. Going from, like, there. Pretty much directly over to, uh, the steel mill. That's not- Why have I got tools over here again? What have I done? I've made a mistake somewhere, haven't I? Oh, I've made a mistake somewhere. What is this? Tools going to the mill. Are we bringing them in? Or have they just been there that whole time? What are you current? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What are you carrying? Coal. Iron ore. Okay, I think those things, the, the tools might have just been there this whole time. Iron ore. Okay. Uh, steel. Yeah, I think they might have just been there the whole time. It does look, though, like, uh, this little road here is gonna suddenly become very useful. Which is great news. Because that looks like it's gonna pull a lot of the traffic away from Buntingford. Which is kind of what we needed to do, so... I guess my, uh, my ring road has just found a degree of success. A lot of crude oil waiting in here. Gonna need to pick that up as soon as we possibly can. A lot of trucks waiting around here. My god, that's busy. Oh, that's so busy. Look at it. That's a <laughs> Oh, it's a massive traffic. I love it. Oh, and there's so much fuel here as well. We possibly need more fuel because these things fill up pretty quickly. Like seriously quickly. 
How much money do you make? Like, on a delivery, how much money are you actually going to make? I'm really curious to see. Because it's got to be some serious amount of cash, right? There's no way it isn't. Ooh, a Volvo 500. We got a new bus. Okay. I have to wonder if this game's actually licensed, to, uh, like has the license to use these or if it's just using the names. I'm really curious on that front. But let's see, you pull in, how much do you make from that fuel? 84.1k, okay. Not bad. So let's have a look at the Volvo then. We're not going to upgrade everything. Oh, wow. Uh, can I like sell all of you? Is that a thing I could do real quick? To just sell all of them. There we go. All right. So buy road vehicles. The new Volvo 500. 18 passengers versus 25 from the Bendy Bus. So the Bendy Bus is more expensive, but is also better. Although I think the Volvo is a little bit quicker. Yeah. So the Volvo's quicker, but the Bendy Bus carries more people. And at this point, I only really care about carrying more people. So that's what we're going to stick with. We're not going to worry too much about uh, having a quicker bus. It's only 10 kilometers per hour faster, which isn't really that much. So, yeah, we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, this train here is slowly filling up with grain. Which is brilliant to see. Uh, of course, we're making plastics and all that stuff. Things are going very well for Conflict Transport Limited at the moment. We have so many vehicles. So many vehicles. I really, I wish there was a way, like, is there a way I can, what is this? Well, what have I clicked? Oh, these are all my vehicles. Is there, like, a total? Is there a total for how many vehicles I have? Like, what's the, what's the highest number vehicle we have? 268. I don't think I have 200, do I have 268 vehicles? I might actually. I've got, I think I've got more than that. I've got a lot of vehicles. I've got a lot of vehicles right now. I'll tell you what I want to see though before we wrap things up for today. I would like to see how many passengers are currently on this train. 30 of 72. So that train's probably still not profitable. But that's fine. That's uh, that's honestly okay. Uh, if we have a look at the cargo train. Uh, still profitable. A lot of profit on some other lines as well. The Bingham line, 2.78 million. The Warminster line, 1.44 million. 1.35 million on that coal line. So yeah, I think it's fair to say things are going very, very well for the company at the moment. We are making so much fuel that I'm probably going to have to get a couple more trucks to uh, manage all of it. We are spending a lot of money, but we are making a lot of money too. We're back up to 74.3 million. Hopefully next episode we can hit uh, about... About 100 million again. I reckon it's possible. Uh, I will say, I think I'm going to wrap up this particular Let's Play at about part 10. And then look into getting a getting a large map together and playing on that. Uh, the, I know that this game has Steam Workshop integration, so I might look into some mods as well. I'm thinking of a sort of modded medium or large map. Just so, you know, we can continue with this. Because I'm really enjoying this game so much more than I thought I would. I'm so pleased that I am as well. So I don't want to stop playing it, basically. But I do feel like we're getting very close to sort of like... I guess maxing out what we can do on this map. We still haven't done anything, anything with quarries. We still haven't necessarily perfected the goods coming into Colchester. But we're getting there. So yeah, with that in mind... Thank you, Kevin, for watching. This has been part eight of our Transport Fever Let's Play, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.